Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed my rambling. I'm sorry I went off a little off topic a little bit and then switched back. It's quite hard to understand, but if you listen through it and really concentrate on it, it really helped. So, tell me what you thought about this video in the comment section below. Until then, subscribe to Drone Spike Story or Demos Alliance. Goodbye and peace out. I know this one has been talked over about so many times already, but they're like going to the future, not really describing, and not going really going over what would happen. For me, I'm like, okay, what if Jekyll had a child? How would it happen, okay? We all know that Deku is quirkless, but All Might gave him his quirk. One for all. One for all is a quirk that boosts the um, attributes of the the user. But for me, you know how you eat something and then it, when it goes into your system, it goes into your stomach and it gets broken down. And then through that, it's the nutrients, the st the energy is absorbed into your bloodstream. After that, that needs to go somewhere. So, one for all, after being digested and going going into Bazooka's bloodstream, was actually genetically bonded to him. Temporarily, is t temporarily genetically bonded to him. So, whenever one for all is, let's say, passed down, if it's ever passed down, because in the manga, um, d I, chapter 304, I, like one of my last videos, I went over and described what, what's going on. And in that chapter, Deku was, uh, was told that he might as well be the very last user of One for All. Now, don't get on me for spoiling it. It's just something minor. Kind of a major thing, but kind of mine at the same time on um, account that's whatever's going on. But... Now, what would happen since Deku, with Deku has a child? For me, it goes something like this. If Deku has a child, and the child has a quirk. If it's like fire breathing, since one for all was Tim was in Zuku's bloodstream, and for the record, we never seen any, well, for the record, Nashimar had a child. We never seen him use his quirk, so I'm going to guess his quirk is pretty powerful. Or he's quirkless. But we saw that... Um... Well, Shigaraki Tomoro Tinko's quirk is super powerful. So, that must have been because of the boost that was given through One for All. So, if you think about it, One for All boosts the quirk that are in the um, DNA. But since the person's quirkless, they can't can't really access the powers on the count that they are just able to carry the genetics. So, using that example, um, we go over to, um, with his back, we go back to with Azuka had child. Now, like I was just saying, one for all will boost the quirk already that the kid already has. So, like I was saying, if what if the kid has a fire breathing quirk? It will soon, one, as that was one for all, since it's a boosting type quirk, it will boost the abilities of the fire. It might make it hotter, it might be um, more powerful, or it might add pyrokinesis. Now, that is all just pure speculation. Now, getting on to some other stuff. One for all is a um, quirk that can be passed down through generation to generation. Of heroes, but from we always saw, we already saw that um, All Might already burned through all of his um, embers. But I think there's actually some genetic makeup of the quirk left. He can't really use it, but it's boosting the genetics of his parents' quirks. So if he were to have a child, which is highly unlikely because of his age. The kid would be extremely strong alone because, well, if the kid had a muscle augmentation quirk or something like that, we don't really know Toshinori's parents' quirks. So, yeah, there's that. 
So the kid, whatever quirk the kid has, their quirk will be significantly boosted because of something like Tomura Shigaraki. Tinker Shimura, I mean. Hey, crumb the headache. So, in a nutshell, they could have a child, it would go something like this. The child was born, but with the quirk that is actually more powerful than... I know quirks can be more powerful, but I'm talking like maybe twice as powerful as it would have been from the last user. So, let's say... Well, back to what I was saying. And the ability to bring small objects towards you would have been boosted to where it's telekinesis. Like full-fledged telekinesis, not like S rank or something like that, but maybe a B rank. But if it's something like fire breathing, it would be upgraded to where it's almost a you're able to control it better. Or just give it boosts all around. So, in a nutshell, the quirk well, the one for all, since it's in Zuko's bloodstream and it has DNA, it will boost the genetics of the quirk's DN the quirk genes in his body. And when those are passed down to his kids, if he has them, if he has kids, those kids will receive quirks more powerful than the ones that were already being used. So, like, te um, telekinesis, well, the ability to, um, object attraction will be full-fledged telekinesis. And then fire breathing will become pyromancy, or pyrokinesis. All around, very powerful powers compared to their weak counterparts. So, like I was just saying, one for all will boost the genetics of any quirk that is in Zuku, the, the genetics of any quirk genes that are in Deku. And then his kids will get more powerful quirks. So, to put it more bluntly, the kids will have super powerful quirks because of one for all, boosting the genetics. Hey, it's Buckstar, it's me, Buckus, here, coming to a video in this video. Um, since chapter 304 of My Hero Academia came out to Two days ago, I believe a minute, one Wednesday, this week, I'm going to go over it. Um, I am took green, I took screenshots of it and edited it out. I'm going to be reading it and then explaining it per screenshot. What I think is going on and basically just explain it better so y'all can understand what is going on in the manga right now. So, let's get into it.